was working in that field and uh, after a while I saw the situation in the Balkan route. So at the beginning I decided to go there to see with my eyes uh, what was going on and then I decided to stay. And I went to the borders between Serbia and Bulgaria, Serbia and Hungary. I was in Greece and Idomeni after the closure of the Balkan route. And uh, I started this path, let's say, of my life because I think that if we are fostering uh, uh, the human rights and the people must enjoy those human rights, we cannot divide people in categories. And this is not fair because human rights are belonging to all the people. Institution and the local authority must recognize that solidarity is not a crime. So they should, if they want to have a contact or a dialogue with the activists, uh, they should talk to them, not jail them, not treat them, not betray them. And we went to Kelebia, which is an informal camp next to the Hungarian border. They, they, they told us that we couldn't enter there anymore. They said that uh, if we find you here another time, we are going to arrest you. It was an informal camp and there were there 400, 450 people with one tap with water, five toilets, and they were living in a tent. There were no showers, nothing. The goal of this behavior is to, to, to stress you, to, to make you psychologically weak, uh, but uh, we were not giving up anyway. <laughs> when I was in the Balkan route, I think that um, staying with the people there was uh, very useful for them in a matter of uh, psychological uh, mood. Mm -hmm. So even though they have a lot like this strong resilience, uh, the, the difficult thing is that if you are, don't have anybody who's supporting you after a while, your resilience is not enough. It would be great if the state uh, would think about those people as a uh, human being with the right to travel, regardless of uh, the, the reasons why they do it. Because now traveling is a, it's really a privilege. So uh, I have an European passport and I can go anywhere, basically. But they cannot because they were born in another place. So this is something that uh, it's not acceptable uh, at all because Traveling, uh, it must be a human right. Yeah, I think that uh, in general, uh, um, people and government and whoever, they have all, all, all the time focused on numbers, but uh, to remember that we are talking about people with names, with story. So we're talking about uh, Mohammed, Yunus, uh, Zainab. The only people that are looking for a better future and they have the right to look for it. <laughs>